pawn to e4, knight to g6, and oh, hello dear guest, I didn't think you'd already be awake. Hmm, oh, ignore him, he's just my pet pickles, and he was just leaving. Sitting across from your host is a cat with raven-like wings. The strange hybrid animal looks deep into your eyes with a strange sense of sentience. But before it has a chance to do anything, your host begins to tap her nails against the table, catching the creature's attention. It jumps down and leaves the two of you alone. So your being here must mean you had those night terrors again? Oh well, here, come in, take a seat. Ah, before you start, let me make more tea for you. I can hardly call myself a host if I don't do this much for my guest. How was my sleep? Well, you could say it was blissful. I never stir much during my rest. Not even a little. Oh, don't be too jealous, darling. Even if I do not stir, it's never really restful. I constantly feel as though I need more. But perhaps that's just my curse. Perhaps I've said too much? Forget I've said anything. Here, yeah, have your tea. Right, so tell me about that dream of yours. I hope that there's more than just glaring eyes from the darkness this time. There is more. Well, I'm ready for a riveting story. Go on. What dreams plagued you on this night? Do you recall a desolate village? The ever-present feeling of fear, darkness, and oppression. You remember a sword in your hand and people calling you their only hope. Your only comrade in this battle disappeared and now you're all alone. That's when you went to face the great evil that existed. But there the dream stopped. That does sound like one of the books in my library. Are you sure you didn't just read that? <laughs> yes, I'm not lying. Here. Let me grab it. Let's see. Ah, here it is. This is actually one of the few books that I haven't written in my library. It's called Shattered Fangs of Valor. In a realm tucked away, far beyond the reach of the sun's warm embrace, there lived a cruel high duchess who held dominion over a forgotten kingdom. Her blood-red eyes brimmed with insatiable hunger, and her sinister cackle instilled an unshakable dread in the hearts of her subjects. With a grip as steely as her heart, she controlled her territory, employing a potent mix of terror, cruelty, and cunning to suppress the populace. There was little they, or anyone, could do to stop her. Yet, within the oppressed hearts of her subjects, a flicker of hope refused to be extinguished. This spark was kept alive and nurtured into a valiant hero. Born amid hardship and suffering, they radiated strength, compassion, and hope. Much like a beacon in the darkest of nights. The hero, whose heart was as pure as the white snow, dared to stand against the formidable duchess. They vowed to liberate their people from the bloody clutches of the tyrant. A promise that soon echoed throughout all the realm. Then, the day of their fray came, and the two faced off on the realm's highest peak. The duchess, in her armored black and red gown, loomed ominously over the battlefield. In contrast, the hero armed with a golden sword and fitted to a suit of gleaming armor 
shone like the first light of dawn, an all-but-forgotten image in these lands. Their duel was fierce and long. Each blow echoed throughout all the land, like a promise of impending liberation or doom. In the end, the hero's determination outweighed the Duchess's ferocity, and the tyrant was defeated. A reign of terror finally ended. What do you think? Did that sound familiar to you? Scarily familiar? Well, you probably just read it when you were snooping through my things yesterday. Why deny it? I caught you in the act, dear. Like I said before, I'm not upset. I know most of my guests have an ulterior motive for being here. You're saying you're certain you've never read this book before? I find that difficult to believe, dear guest. Look into my eyes for a moment. You look into her crimson eyes and you can't help but lose yourself. You feel compelled to look at her and nothing else. You... you weren't lying? That cannot be. What did I do? It's nothing to concern yourself with. But I think we have something we must discuss. Who are you really? Oh, so you finally revealed your hand to me. You woke up in a strange place by my manor, and when you saw it, you felt like you were supposed to enter. Well, forgive me for being so rude just a moment ago. You merely reminded me of... a past acquaintance. Ah, and I am to you as well. Then perhaps we were fated to meet after all. My dear guest, may I reveal a bit of my secret to you? I created the Manor of Roses for one purpose, and one purpose alone. There is a person I once knew who ran far beyond my reach. They never could be kept in one spot, and I seemed to only anger them with each breath I took. No matter what I did for them, no matter how I changed, it wasn't quite enough. So I instead made this beautiful abode to lure them back to me. I made sure to do everything possible, so that they would want to return. I got an adorable pet. I've surrounded myself with all the people they care about. And I filled this territory with the fragrance of roses. Why did I tell you this? Well, who knows? Perhaps it's a meager hope that what I said reaches their ears. You never know who's watching or listening. But enough about this somber topic. We now have more to dissect with you. Your muddled memories. The plague of night terrors. And the fact you couldn't help but feel compulsed to my manner. Well, all of these things seem to mean I must help you. Yes, I do not mind at all, dear guest. Oh, and did you finish your tea? Good. Can't waste even a drop of it. It's a bit of a concoction of mine. It's to promote deeper sleep and more vivid dreams. Why do you look startled? Getting rid of your dreams won't cure you, so I was hoping we'd find the root cause of them. Now that we know your memories are all askew, it's doubly the reason you should investigate those dreams of yours. You may not have amnesia, but waking up somewhere you don't know isn't common for sober minds. I have a feeling someone has implanted memories into you. Do you remember the names or faces of your parents? Do you know where you grew up? Your first pet? I didn't think so. Just hazy shadows. You feel like you know yourself, but you question it, and it all falls apart. Pardon for this. You seem to be a bit shaken up. 
Forgive me for holding your face like this, but I hate seeing you this scared. You can relax with me, my dear. You're safe here. I do not mind at all if you want to hug me. I'll hold you until you calm down. Mm, there, there. Everything will be okay. I will solve all your problems for you. You just need to put all your trust into me. There you go. Are you feeling better now? You certainly look it. There's that smile. Don't be so quick to hide it. When the sky is filled with nothing but clouds, you should still smile radiantly, just as you are now. If I may make a request, please continue to stay within the manor here. If not for yourself, for my own worries of what might happen to you if you wander away. Thank you for swearing you'll stay. Maybe you may even come to help me find what I'm looking for. Once your mind is clear, of course. But don't let me hold you up any longer. Go ahead and look around the manor as you wish. I have some studying to do on your condition. <laughs> yes, I will see you around as well. Be safe, my dearest guest. You should leave now, before you become further ensnared by the Lady of Roses. For both of our safety, all I can say is, consider this. That magic mixing your memories around? Perhaps it was put there to keep you safe. I hope you'll make the right choice, and leave before the next morning.